Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix star field is crashing not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon, click on the power icon and go for a restart. Once restart is done on your system, try launch the game and see whether that is going to fix the issue or not. If that is not going to work, we have to try with the next one. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to verify integrity of game file. For verify integrity of game file, that is going to take a lot of time because the game is quite huge. So the verify integrity of game file to do this, just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, we have to go to the install it file and we just need to click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by the verify integrity of game file. So once it is done, we just need to try launching the game. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. So that is why we are having this particular issue. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to use a shortcut. So right click over here and go to the properties. We have to go to the install it file and we just need to go over here and we just need to go to the browse. So that will redirect you as to the installation folder. If you check over here at the top, that is this PC, local C program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common star field. So go over here and we just need to right click and we have to, before that we just need to try launch the game and this working for many users we can try this out next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game as an administrator and we have to try run the game in the compatibility mode so hence we're in the installation folder i'll be showing you both these things here itself so we just need to right click over here select the game right click and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to the properties go to compatibility and we have to click on run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok and try launch the game if that is not working we have to try with the next one that is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode for this we just, we just need to right click over here and go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties go to compatibility now from here we just need to click on to run this program in the compatibility mode so we have we can either set this to windows 7 or windows 8 if you're on windows 7 go for apply and go for ok and we have to go for windows 8 we have to go for apply and go for ok so once you're done with this one try launch the game and if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is all about we need to do is we just need to uh, launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just launch the game and once you launch the game is successfully launched we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this worked for many users you can try this out i don't know how this worked but for many users when they launch the game and press alt and tab it worked for them so you can try this out next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to this particular pc and go to the documents over here and over here you will be able to find the folder so if you go to the my games you will be able to find the folder on the star field delete the game and keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it once you delete it you just need to close this we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here go to the control panel over here go to control panel click on system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to s and you here you will be able to find the here you will be able to find the game that is starfield and keep in mind this has to be added and also as you can see it is already uh, the private and public should be selected so if the game is not here we can add it by default so just click on the change settings we have to go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here if you scroll down and navigate to over oh, here you can see that we can go over here in the star field select this one and select this and go for open and add it so i'm getting the error because it's already added so once you add the game just close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so just uh, as you can see when you launch the game as you can see, we might be connected with multiple things. For example, you know, uh, the USB ports might be filled with a lot of things, Logitech wheels, controllers, joysticks, etc. So just remove everything. Once you remove everything, launch the game. Afterward, just connect it back and try playing the game. And this worked for many users. We can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to 
to do simple all we have to do is we just need to perf uh, perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go to the system configuration go for services and once you go for service you just need to click on hide all microsoft services and uh, first keep it just disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok and you have to go for a restart so once restart is done we just need to try launch the game so if that is not working we have to try with the next one next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, go over here and we need to perform a clean boot which is already done the next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties make sure if this is turn it on we have to turn this off try launch the game if that is not working we have to go to the launch option it's just actually another step so if you're here in the launch option we have to give the command so the first command is dx11 you have to give the command dx11 and try launching the game so if dx11 is not working try with the dx12 and try launching the game so if dx11 is not working if dx12 is not working you can try launch the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application which is very important so just go over here in the game right click over here and we have to go to the task manager now from here you can see over here you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the uh, performance and which is causing for the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to uh, un over here as you can see these are running in the background so you just need to end it up so once uh, you can see that all these things are utilizing the performance which is causing for the crashing issue so we have to remove it we have to end it up so once you're done with this one we just need to close this and we need to go back try launching the game and once you're done with this one we have to move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to go to the graphics settings now from here as you can see there are all the things are already added to the game so we just need to uh, make sure the game is already added or not most probably i have already added the game so if you have not added the game just click on the browse Go to this PC, go to local disk C, over here go to program file x86, scroll down and navigate to Steam and we have to go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to go over here and keep scrolling down and navigate to star field over here and we have to select this one, go for add. So here it says added. So once you add, just click on the option as you can see by default, this is let Windows decide change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this, just close this and we have to go back, try launching the game and we'll be able to find this up as well. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, increase the virtual memory. So just, just go over here in the search and we have to go to view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced, go to the settings once again, go to the advanced once again, go for change. And over here if you, you can see this has to be very important because this should be unchecked and you have to select the local disk where the game is in start. So go to the custom size, set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we just need to go over here and we need to find the calculator. So just type your RAM. So my RAM is 32 GB so that is why I am typing this and we have to multiply it with 1024 that brings you 32768 and we have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 14 and 152. So just copy this and we have to paste it. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to type 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3. That is 98304. We have to copy this and we have to paste it and we have to go for OK. We just need to close everything and we have to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to update the windows. So just go over here in the search. We have to go for settings over here and we have to go to the windows update. So just update the windows. It is very important. Windows should be up to date. So once you're done with this one, still, if you're having the issue, we can try with the next one. That is all about we have to update the graphics card. So just go over here in the search. I'll be giving both the link in the description. If you're on the uh, NVIDIA over here, you have to go to this link. You have to select everything like your product type should be selected. Product series should be selected. Product should be selected, operating system should be selected to Windows 11 and everything should be selected and we have to go for start search. And when you go for the start search, what happens is as you can see, what you need to do is we just need to go over here and once you set this up, we'll be getting this version. You have to download file that is 7.13. This should be downloaded and we have to go to the, this should be downloaded and installed. Restart is mandatory and try launch the game. So if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here. Go to the submit over here and once the submit is done, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we have to go to the submit. And once the submit is being done successfully, you'll be getting the next page over here. So I'll do it once again, I don't know what happens. So just let me go for the submit. So it's not working. 
so once you go for the submit uh, what happens you'll be getting a new one i don't know how it, why it's not working so you'll be getting the uh, space where you can download the uh, versions over there and you will be able to download install and restart as a mandatory one even if you do the same so uh, in the meantime let me go over here in the microsoft visual c plus plus if you are over here in the c plus plus you have to download based on x64 you have to download this install restart is a mandatory if you're on x86 you have to download restart is a mandatory and try launching the game so these are the main important steps which can be done and even after trying with this if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is all about we have to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game for this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to manage and install the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind you should not be installing back on the same frame which you uninstall the game we have to try finding new app new local disk so these are the possible workaround which can be done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye